What's up everybody? It is the crack of dawn and we are on the road. We are heading to someplace pretty special. We are heading over to a good friend of mine, Emily and Ed, from none other than Snake Discovery. They are building a reptile zoo, which I'm sure you guys are all aware of. If you follow me, I definitely guarantee you follow her. But she was looking for some extra help. We've been friends for a long time. We already went there and helped her once and we had such a blast. We could not wait to get back there and help her again. We're on the way. Stick with us and we'll be there shortly. What is up guys? We finally made it. Three hour drive and we're finally here at Emily's Snake Discovery Reptile Experience. She's been working really, really hard. This place is coming a long way and it is going to educate so many people in the future. I cannot wait for this to be open. Let's go ahead, get our mask on, and go in there and get to work and get this place finished up. Here we are, we are at the zoo entrance. Let's go find Emily, see what she's gonna have us doing this time. Probably more sand painting, because we ended up being pretty good at that last time. So let's go find Emily and see what's up. Ed! Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Emily, oh, hey. you made it! How's it going? It's going good, ready to work hard today. Awesome! Get stuff done. It's come so far since I was here last. It's, it's crazy. It's definitely getting there. It's starting to all come together. Thanks for coming back yeah. to oh, help so out again. Excited. We had so much fun last time. Oh, good. Are you okay sand painting again? Oh, God, yes. Uh, right. So much fun. Yeah, I just okay. go in my little zone and boom, boom, boom. Well, perfect. We'll get some music in the background right. and I'll show you where to, uh, yeah. cool. where, to where, where we need to get done. So we've finished kind of wrapping everything that we can up here. Uh, since we have a couple panels overlapping, uh, we just have to sand paint all the seams here, which you did a lot of that before, but yeah. now there's just a couple new spots like up here. This has been foamed already. Okay. So I was wondering if you could like carve that so it doesn't look smooth. Also, oh, it looks like the rock and then back is in. Yeah, yeah. yeah Texture wise, it looks rough. That'd be really sweet. Yeah, Absolutely. that'd be. Yeah, we can get that done. That'd be amazing. Cool. I just have to find you a knife and, uh, <laughs> and then we can get you going. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So the sand painting stuff's over here. Freedom and uh, yeah, yeah, we've got all the sands back here, all the sand painting trays. Uh, I would recommend wearing gloves, <laughs> as you know, it gets everywhere. And I, know, I, I ruined a pair of pants last time, I yeah. learned my lesson. I hope you don't mind that the pants are going to turn into Universal Rocks right. colors here pretty It'll soon. Work. All right, the nice part is, is we're thinking about using this for our new cages that we're building in our basement for the walk in, so I'm kind of getting uh tutorial on how to use this stuff. There you go, you'll be all <laughs> trained in on how to set up your own. Oh, dude, and it just looks so amazing. Like, yeah, Universal it's... Rocks does such a good job yeah, with this stuff. Yeah, they do stuff. a great job. Yeah, it's just so realistic and all that too. Um, we are going to try to cover up the staples too, if you're okay, okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, well, all right, well, let's get started. So what we're working on today, right now, is we are sand painting all of the staples and cracks that are going on the Universal Rock. Justice is going along here, I'm putting the 3M silicone on there, 
and then afterwards I can come through and sand paint it. So what Justice is doing here is taking the uh, 3M and he's just coating it on there so we got something for the sand paint to stick to and then so it gets all blended in and looks like it was uh, originally a rock right from the get go. It's pretty sweet. How's it going Justice? Having fun? Awesome. Let's see what else we got going on around here. Oh, look who we got here. It's Mr. Dave Kaufman. I'm not here. <laughs> what you got going on over here, Dave? So I am doing a little sand painting, which is something that I would have never done if I wasn't here. It's fun though, isn't it? It, it is a lot of fun, actually. It's, it's very, it's more artistic than I kind of imagined it to be, but it is also very kind of satisfying. Isn't it? Like yeah. you just get in the zone? Yeah. And what I find know. nice about it that I noticed is I have zero artistic talent and uh -huh. even I can make it look good. There you go. There you so, go. So yeah, Universal Rocks really yeah. got it going on here. No, this it's, just, it's, a, it's a perfect world. This is just looking amazing. What do you think of Emily's place? I, I'm so proud of these guys for it's, building this. It's just amazing, this isn't it? It's such an amazing place oh, and uh, YouTubers everywhere. <laughs> It's, it's such an amazing place, and I really can't wait to see it. Oh, man, so many and people are going to learn so much here. Yeah, I mean, every time I'm here, it's just, you just watch it take shape, and it's just really amazing to see. Absolutely. So, well, I, I did miss a spot there, so I'm oops, just going to... Oops, let everyone know the yeah. mistake. Yeah, Emily, uh... Emily won't give me any free pizza if I miss a spot. Right? You're fine, oh, speaking of free pizza, I better get back to work, and I'm not going to get any free pizza, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I just got done doing this tank right here, and he's sand painting it? Yeah, yeah, sand painting it in here. So basically what I'm doing is I've got a couple different colors of the sand here, and I'm just going over and kind of looking at how the rock looks. And you can see here, I just sand painted all this. This is what it starts out with the silicone. And then once I come through and sand paint it, it blends it right in, you never even know it was there. So yeah, we're working hard, it's looking good. This place is awesome. Having fun, dude? Yeah. Man, this is absolutely a lot of work. You don't even realize it. You're sitting here and you're dabbing away and dabbing away and next thing you know, half hour, 45 minutes goes this by. This isn't but even the big one. I'll tell you what, it absolutely looks great. Check this out. You cannot even see where I just came across and seen that all in. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. We're having a blast. Stick with us. We got a lot more work to do. All right, before we keep going, I want to go and show you guys something. These cages, I don't know if you can tell on film, but they're astronomically huge. Like, look at this giant cage right here. Like, literally, I can crawl in this thing. Look at this. Look at this. It is so huge in here. Like, literally, unbelievable how huge these cages are. And I'll tell you what, if I ever had a doubt about Universal Rock, it is gone. Because this stuff, it's amazing. Like literally, this literally looks like I'm in the jungle right now. And look at these crazy cages. 
what Emily and Ed are doing here is just absolutely phenomenal. I'm so excited to see this place open and I'm so proud of everything that they've done and accomplished. This building is gonna educate so many people. And check this out right here. This is gonna be Rex's cage. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Emily's alligator, Rex. And this is his cage right here. Look at how huge this is. I mean, guys, this is unbelievable. I'm so excited to be a part of helping get this put together. There's been so many people here to help. It is just astronomical. Stick with, we got a lot of work to do yet. We're gonna be here for a while yet. All right guys, so we're taking a break from the sand painting for just a little bit because the next step we gotta do is where we got the spray foam in here and it's kind of bubbled out. It's gonna look kind of silly. So we're gonna take this knife and we're just gonna kind of carve off these extra edges in here to uh, go ahead and make it look like a natural rock once we form it so it's more like broke apart an edge and it's not that smooth piece. So that's what we're working on next, so let's get to it. Well, I'm going to take a quick break and go ahead and come back here. I'm going to go ahead and take a break and come back here and see how everything's looking with the animal setups. And wow, this is cool. Check this out, y'all. been working all day and we're about to wrap up so I just wanted to thank you Emily for letting us come help you a part of this I mean what you are doing here is absolutely amazing I, it's blown me away honestly. thank you so much for staying all day oh. to say and paint both of you like yeah. you can't see the cameraman behind the camera but there is one there thank you as well oh my God, and he is filthy too Look. yeah his forearms are just dirt <laughs> <laughs> oh sand painting but you're planning on being open what we are planning on our retail, so the store being open for like supplies and feeders and all that for, on April 9th. And then we're planning a grand opening for the zoo side as well sometime in June. Sometime in June, so pay attention. I'll keep everyone updated on that as well or watch Emily's channel. I know everyone that's on my channel subscribe to her, so 
she'll let you know when she's going to really have that open. And then you got basically everything except for your quarantine animals and Rex over here, right? Yep, uh, quarantine animals are at home, Rex, turtles, and a couple of our larger snakes, like our retics, are at home because we're just waiting until their new eight foot enclosures are done here. Nice. Or the displays are done, we're just going to move them straight into those. That's what's up. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming along today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe and smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.